so we are going to talk about global positioning system and the working of gps today what is gps as the name is suggesting you understand the position of a particular object or a person on the earth or on the globe it is a space based satellite navigation which is going to use satellites that are revolving around the earth and there are precisely 27 satellites that are solely dedicated for gps purposes that are revolving around the earth's surface it is not only going to provide the location but it is also going to give you the location at a particular time so if your location is changing you it is changing with respect to time so that is also acquired through gps it requires an unobstructed view the accuracy of the location is much more higher when the object is in an open area an open ground as compared to maybe a basement or inside a building how does it get the location it is going to use radio waves and it uses the principle of c into t is equal to d where c is the speed of light as we all know it t is the time taken d is the distance so the sound waves are traveling at the speed of light and the time that it takes for the waves to reach back the satellite is recorded which will ultimately give the distance of that particular object on the surface more precisely the position is acquired using the principle of trilateration as we all know that at any point the arrangement of the space segment is in such a way that any point on the earth is exposed to at least three or four satellites at one particular time limit so keeping in mind the principle of trilateration that means that uh, for example if we take these three satellites 1 2 and 3 using the function of c into t is equal to d we get the distance of satellite 1 that is the blue from the surface of earth now that distance is in the form of the radius of a circle and the position of the object could be anywhere on this circumference on the blue line on the blue circumference we still don't know exactly where on this similarly when we go for the second satellite in the same reference another distance is obtained and now the object can be anywhere in the green circumference so using the previous and the current circumferences we can get two common points of intersection and this means that the position of the object can be either on these two points now what happens when the third satellite also does the same thing giving a third circumference there is an overlap or an intersection of all these at one particular point which is going to enable anyone to get the exact location so the intersection of all the three circumferences will be the location precise location of the particular object more the circles more, more the satellites more the circles or the circumferences and so better will be the accuracy